ಶ್ರೇಯಾಶು ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾತರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಸಹನಾವತಿ ಸಹನೌಗುಣಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತಿ ಸಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಶಾವೈ ಏ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೀವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಖ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸುಬಂತಾದಿರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವೇರ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಯು ಫಿನಿಶ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಯು ವೇರ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಪಿ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಸೇಜ್ ಯದೇತನ್ ಮಮ ಮತಂ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯಮಿ ಸ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಉಕ್ತ ತಥಾ ಹಿ ಸೇಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೈ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೈ ವ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯಮಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈ ಸರ್ವಾಣಿ ಕರ್ಮಿ ಸನ್ಯಸ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಚೇತಸ ನಿರಾಶೀರ್ ನಿರ್ಮಮೋ ಭೂತ ಯುಧ್ಯಸ್ವ ವಿಗತ ಜ್ವರ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ವರ್ಣಾಶ್ರಮ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಹಿ ಸೇ ಯುಧ್ಯಸ್ವ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಧರ್ಮ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಟು ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಸೊ ಯದೇತನ್ ಮಮ ಮತ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮತ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಮೇ ಮತ and there cannot be any better this is the vaidika view because ishwara's view is the vaidika view vaidika view is the ishwara's view iti sapramana muktam and what has been shown with pramana tat tatha that is tat tatha uh, how is that he is saying in the next shloka okay so we have to do some uh, copy paste here okay so he says ye me matam idam vityam anutishtanti manavaha shraddhavanto anusuyanto mukchyante te api karma bhi so ye me matam ye me matam idam idam matam the view that he has presented which is karma yoga should be done for those who are not eligible for jnana ye me matam idam idam matam matam idam nityam anutishtanti ye manavaha those people who follow it continuously nityam anutishtanti nityam nityena always follow my mata my view and they follow dharma so that is which has become dharma now shraddhavanta who are these they are having shraddha people who are having shraddha matupanta shraddhavanta plural anusuyanta anasuyanta anasuyanta is what asuya uh, one who has asuya uh, those who have asuya are asuyanta but these uh, not have they those who uh, asuya is 
finding fault where it does not belong finding fault where it does not belong so generally we keep on uh, pushing everything on to others it's a projection you project all the ideas that someone is wrong something else is wrong you are never wrong so we are never wrong but we think others are wrong and including whatever is perfect there also we start showing fingers that is asuya so those who are shraddhavant and anasuyanta anasuyanta are, are those who do not have asuya here you look at the bhashya uh, 31st shloka bhashya yem idam madiyam idam matam nitya manushana vidyam manaha shraddhant shraddhana anusuyanta asuyam cha mai param gurau vasudeve akurvantah those who do not do do not find faults in vasudeva or in param guru they don't find faults in the guru because it does not belong there in vasudeva in paramatma there are no faults but there are people who say you know why did ishwara do this why did he do that all these are uh, finding faults you know he should have done that why only me all these are finding faults because shraddha is lacking shraddhavantah shraddhadhana those who have shraddha in bhagwan and in dharma shastra given by bhagwan they do not find faults in bhagwan and by extension even in dharma shastra dharma shastras are right the way they are if there is any change that will come from the tradition because uh, people who have studied dharma alone can interpret it not others we can't just apply social rules and say this dharma is invalid we follow social rules outside home inside the home in your own personal capacity whatever dharma you can follow without affecting the society you follow if the society say you are not allowed to do uh, whatever publicly fine you sit at home and you can do so by extension by extension finding faults in dharma also is asuya and here anasuyantah muchyante te api karma bhi muchyante let me just see if there is another meaning that uh, vyakhyanakara here shankara anandi tika gives just interested to see if there is something else given for anasuyanta i didn't realize that i didn't copy paste these uh, shlokas uh, shasanam yeah, matam shasanam anusuyanta so finding faults with how how he should you know handle the praja asuya nama guna dushana jagad guru mai tam akurvanta kintu shraddhavanta tatra shraddham bhakti ch kurvanta santa anutishtanti no nothing else uh, that is all shasanam tim karma kurvanti ch so he, he gives a final meaning as machhasanam anula uh, anulanghya machhasanam anulanghya ye nityam karma kurvanti iti uh, arthah so they who follow the shastras they who follow the directions so he is matam they follow manavah ye manavah ye manavah me matam nityam nityam anutishtanti ki te api what happens then te api te shraddhavanta te ana suyantah shraddhavantah vantah api karma bhihi muchyante so whenever there is uh, uh, freed from so muchyante is are freed they are freed even they are free so those who follow the karma and the way he has taught meaning what offering unto the lord thereby making that karma as karma yoga nitya nimitta ka karma they also will be freed so they also are freed muchyante are freed it is said in the present tense itself while doing the karma itself they are freed from the bondage that will come from kartrutva bhava in the beginning uh, this karma yoga will take away the kartrutva bhava uh, it will take up the binding which comes with kartrutva bhava because uh, one is offering it unto the lord thereby 
कर्तृत्व भाव विल लूजन इट इज स्लैकन एंड देन फाइनली चित्त शुद्धि विल विद द रिजल्ट एंड देन वन विल गेट ज्ञान योग्यता देर बाय कर्म भी मुच्चंत हियर दो कर्म भी मुच्चंत द कर्म दैट वन इज डूइंग दैट विल नॉट बी बाइंडिंग इट विल जनरेट पुण्य नॉट टू बाइंड यू इन टू संसार बट टू फ्री यू फ्रॉम संसार इवन पुण्य विल बिकम बाइंडिंग बिकॉज इफ अ पर्सन वॉन्ट्स पुण्य देन दैट पुण्य बाइंड्स बट दिस पर्सन इज अ कर्म योगी इज गिविंग अफ इज पुण्य फॉर चित्त शुद्धि ही इज ऑफरिंग द फला ऑल्सो टू दी लॉर्ड देर बाय वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट चित्त शुद्धि इज द ओनली रिजल्टंट एंड ही कम्स क्लोजर एंड क्लोजर टू ज्ञान और मोक्षा एंड देर बाय कर्म भी मुच्चंत सो इन इमीडिएट मीनिंग कर्म फला does not affect him this karma phalas punya papa uh, does not affect him and uh, in the long run karma bhi muchante one will be completely be free from karma here also tritiya si muchante either it is said as one is freed from karma or the karma frees the person so thereby karma bhi muchante can tritiya is see that karma binds you punya and papa even if you do not want they will bind you You cannot say that I have done karma, but I don't want phala. No, if you have done the karma, you will have to necessarily undergo phala. Thereby, karma itself becomes a karta to bind you, in that sense, poetically. So, karma bhi muchyante means they are karta ri triti also you can take and say that te te karma bhi muchyante. They are freed by by karma, by karma phala. Karma bhi is karma. karma has the sense of karma as well as karma phala here you can take it as karma phala punya papa and they are basically punya papa pape papai hi muchyante punya papai hi muchyante is the meaning here who are these those who are anusuyanta and shraddhavanta i am not marking the cases i hope it is clear so me shashti mama other cases are hopefully clear so matam ye ye me so this is in ye ye is in prathama therefore matam idam matam anutishtanti uh, all this idam and nityam will be in second case manavah shraddhavanta anushyanta all prathama bhuvachana muchyante and te api karma bhi karma bhi is tritiya bhuvachana ye me madiyam idam okay so bhashya is also copied okay ye tu ये येतद मीन्स ये तो एतद अभ्यसूयत न अनुतिषंती मे मतम ओके देर वॉज नो संगति देर वॉज दट संगति दिस इज अके दिस इज एन इश्यू आई शुड हैव कॉपीड इट एज इट इज या सो देर इज नो संगति हियर देर इज नो संगति भाष्य फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड श्लोका ये तो सो ये तो इज इन सो ये ये तदभ्यसूयत नानुतिषंती मे मत सर्व्ञान मूढ़ास्ता विद्धि नष्टा नेते सह सो ये तो so ye and etat cannot be in samana dikranam so etat has to be in second case ye tu etat abhyasuyanta as opposed to anasuyanta abhyasuyanta abhita suyant those who are always finding faults with bhagwan in all ways in abhi is abhita completely finding faults with bhagwan what about them na anutishtanti nematam and uh, those who this abhyasuyanta those who fall, find faults with bhagwan and his shasana they will not follow what he says obviously they will not follow they will follow what they like whether it is said by bhagwan or not they, even if they follow something which has been said by bhagwan they will uh, follow it to their taste as to their ragad desha if if they like to do something and bhagwan has prescribed it they will do it If he if he has seen said something which they don't like, they'll say no. This is faulty. This dharma shastra is faulty, and they'll do whatever they like. So thereby, na anutishtanti. 
Etanarutishtanti. What is that? May matam. Etad may matam. Nanutishtanti. May is mama. May matam. Nanutishtanti. What about them? What happens to them? Sarvajnana vibhudan stan vidhi nashtana chetasa. So you, you should consider them. You should know them. Vidhi. Tan vidhi. Sarvajnana vimudan tan. Vimudan tan has become vimudan stan. Vimudan tan vidhi. Know them. So may you know them. This is Lotlakara Madhya Purusha Ekavachana. Nashtan achetasaha. Nashtan is Dvitya Bhuvachana. Similarly is achetasaha. Achetasaha is also. Uh, Achetasaha Vidhi Achetasaha is also Dvitiya uh, Bahuachana Achetasaha Achetas is the Pratipadikam So one uh, Bahurihi Nanj Bahuri Those who are not having Chetaha means they don't have Viveka What does Bhagavan Bhashyakara say there? Achetasaha 30 second shloka Jani uh, hi uh, so, Chetaha Navidyate Yasya. So, Chetaha Navidyate means they don't have Antakkarana. Who does not have Antakkarana? Even a Prani has Antakkarana. So, it is not literal. Those who do not have Antakkarana, Antakkarana which functions as Buddhi, they don't have Viveka. So, that Buddhi is not functional. It is like jada, it has become jada or it has become prani with jada. Prani does not have to use buddhi beyond, uh, beyond its hunger. Beyond its hunger and a little more, that's it. But not, uh, it does not have to do viveka. Similarly, a person who does not use his buddhi is, is like that. Thereby what, what happens is that ye too, Etad abhyusuventha etan me matam na anutishtanti tan vidhi. May you know them. These ye and tan, tan are in samana dikram. Tan vidhi. May you know them as what? Acheta saha tan sarva jnana vimudhan tan. So, sarma, whatever makes more sense, we can use that. Nashtan. So, nashtan. Tan. Uh, nashtan achetasa so somehow nashtan went away okay nashtan nashtan so i i think uh, what makes sense is nashtan makes a, a better sense to me may you know them as uh, as though destructed as though destroyed because uh, if you don't your use your buddhi what is going to happen is that v without viveka one will have a fall adogati will result and thereby nashtan vidhi as though uh, as though destroyed because the uh, god knows how many janmas it will take for a person to take a manushya janma and having taken manushya janma one is not making use of that therefore tan sarvajnana vimudan sarvajnana vimudan means they are bereft of they are deluded in the sarveshu jnaneshu vimudan they are deluded with all sorts of knowledge. They are Sarveshu Jnaneshu. See, Sarveshu Jnaneshu Vividham Mudaha. Vividham is Vividha Prakarana Mudaha. In all ways, they are, uh, they are deluded with all sorts of knowledge. Because Buddhi, Viveka, they are not using. Then any knowledge, whether it is Laukika or Vedika, or whether it is related to uh, Vedantam Bhuduram, uh, but whatever neo vedanta also they go to they will misunderstand and misinterpret so sarveshu jnaneshu uh, vividham mudha vividham is vividha prakarataya mudha that is sarva jnana vimudha and the sar tan sarva jnana vimudhan vidhi or you can say tan nashtan vidhi so you can uh, see whatever makes more uh, sense to you bringing out more meaning you can put that so Achetasa, achetasa will go in the uh, as a an objective and then uh, objective complement can be sarvajnana uh, sarva vimudan 
नष्टान विधि सो यू कैन से ये तू ऑन दी अदर हैंड ये तू अभ्यसूयंत हा अभ्यसूयंत हा एंड अभ्यसूयंत हा संत हा बीइंग और अभ्यसूयंत हा अभ्यसूयंत हा दे हु डो नॉट फॉलो माय मता एतन में मतन एतत एतत में मतम एतत एंड मकारा संदिल भी एतन नकार है कि बिकम नकारा एतन में मतम मतम न अनुतिष्ठन्ति दे डोंट फॉलो धर्मा एंड पुट ऑल दी ब्लेम ऑन भगवान तान तुम विधि तुम विधि हैज व्हाट तुम तान हु आर दिस तान अचेत सह तान अचेत तान अचेत सह सह सो कैन पुट देम टुगेदर एंड मेक एन अनवे सर्वज्ञान विमूढ़ान नष्टान विधि तुम विधि तुम और कैन रिमूव तुम एंड से विधि इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड सेकेंड एज मध्य पुरुष बहुवचन सर मध्य पुरुष एक वचन लोक लकार सो नो देम एज ऑलमोस्ट डिस्ट्रॉयड एज इन डिस्ट्रॉयड इज वॉट बेसिकली मोक्ष पुरुषार्थ दे डोंट गेट एंड इन दिस केस इन धर्म ऑल्सो दे आर नॉट फॉलोइंग दे हैव अधोगति कस्मात पुनः कारण त्वदीय मतम न अनुतिष्ठती सो भगवान इज नाउ भाष्यकर असेज भगवान भाष्यकर असेज भगवान कृष्ण मे बी थिंकिंग वॉट इज ई थिंकिंग ही मे बी एनलाइजिंग वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन अर्जुनाज माइंड ही इज लुकिंग एट एम एंड थ्रू द एक्सप्रेशन और इट डज नॉट हैव टू रियली लुक एट एक्सप्रेशन भगवान कृष्ण कैन फाइंड आउट सर्वजी साक्षी भूतम सो बींग अ साक्षी ऑफ एवरी वन विद इन दी बॉडी ही इज अ साक्षी ईश्वर सो ही नोज वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन सो कस्मात पुनः कारण त्वदीय मतम त्वदीयम इज रिलेट दीज मताज विच आर युअर युअर मता सो त्वदीय इज तव मतम कृष्णा सो अर्जुना मे बी थिंकिंग दैट ड्यू टू वॉट रीजन डू दे नॉट फॉलो युअर ईश्वराज डायरेक्शन गाइडलाइन्स वाय वाय डोंट दे फॉलो इट परधर्मान अनुतिष्ठती एंड त्वदीय मतन न अनुतिष्ठती मीन्स दे डोंट फॉलो देअर ओन धर्म विच इज फॉलोइंग वॉट इज यू हैव डायरेक्टेड इन्स्टेड ऑफ दैट परधर्मान अनुतिष्ठती दे फॉलो अदर धर्म स्वधर्म से न अनुवर्तनते दे डोंट फॉलो देअर ओन धर्म सो वॉट दे डोंट फॉलो वॉट एवर यू आर सेंग दे फॉलो संबडी एल्स इज धर्म एंड दे डोंट फॉलो देअर ओन धर्म सो दिस कैन यू परधर्मान अनुतिष्ठती एंड स्वधर्म से अनुवर्तनती कैन ऑल्सो बी एन एलोब्रेशन ऑफ त्वदीय मतम न अनुतिष्ठती वॉट इज भगवान मत यू फॉलो युअर ओन धर्म लेट अदर्स फॉलो देअर धर्म यू डोंट फॉलो देअर धर्म सो दिस इज एन एलोबरेशन ऑफ त्वदीय मतम न अनुतिष्ठती परधर्मान अनुतिष्ठती स्वधर्म से न अनुवर्तनते देन त्वत्प्रतिकूला कथम न बिभ्यती सो भी धातु थर्ड गण ज्योत्यादि गण दे फोर यू सी जित्वम हियर बिभ्यती कथम न बिभ्यती हाउ इज इट दैट दे आर दे डोंट फियर फियर दे डोंट फियर मीन दे आर नॉट अफ्रेड वाई इज इट दैट दे आर नॉट अफ्रेड त्वत्प्रतिकूला बीइंग अपोज टू यू बीइंग अपोज टू यू हाउ इज इट दैट दे डोंट फियर यू वाई हाउ इज इट दैट दे आर नॉट अफ्रेड त्वच शासनातिक्रम दोषात वाय शुड दे बी अफ्रेड बिकॉज त्वच शासन वॉट एवर युअर शासन इज दे आर ट्रांसग्रेसिंग दैट यू हैव मेड सम रूल्स बिकॉज दैट इज अ शासन इट हैज टू बी फॉलोड इट इज अ विधि विध्यात्मक ऑल दिस इज वेदाज आर विधि विधि एंड निषेध निषेध इज ऑल्सो वर्ड इट्स अ विधि दैट यू डू नॉट डू दिस दैट इज अ विधि दैट्स अ निषेध निषेध विधि सो विधि एंड निषेधा बट इफ यू कैटेगराइज एज सम डूज एंड डोंट देन इंजंक्शन प्रिस्क्रिप्शन एंड प्रोहिबिशन्स सो त्वशासन 
atikrama doshat atikrama doshat nam pyati so this fear source of fear or whatever is to be feared that takes panchami so this is that panchami twatsasana atikrama doshat na bibhyati katham twatsasana atikrama doshat na bibhyati tatrah so if arjuna is thinking that tatrah what does he say he gives us another shloka there bhagwan krishna says the next shloka is an kasmat na bibhyati what is the reason for not having fear how can somebody who is a minuscule entity a jeeva is not afraid of uh, sarvajna sarvavyapi ishvara not afraid why tatra the reason is given sorry the reason given is sadrsham cheshtate svasya prakrute jnanavanapi प्रकृति यांति भूतानि निग्रह किं करिष्यति सदृशं चेष्टते सस्याः प्रकृतेः ज्ञानवानपि प्रकृतिं यांति भूतानि निग्रहः किं करिष्यति किं करिष्यति सदृशं सदृशं सिमिलरिटी चेष्टते वन फॉलोस प्रथम एकवचन सो व्हाट डज वन फॉलो स सह चेष्टते किं चेष्टते दिस सदृशं सदृशं समथिंग सिमिलर सदृशं सस्याः सस्याः प्रकृते सदृशं सिमिलर टू व्हाट सिमिलर टू वन्स ओन प्रकृति व्हाट एवर इज वन्स ओन नेचर बेस्ड ऑन दैट वन फॉलोस धर्म अधर्म व्हाट एवर इट इज हु इज दैट एनी वन स्वस्या प्रकृते स्वस्या वंस ओन स्वस्या प्रकृते प्रकृते इज ऑलसो षष्टी सो प्रकृति एंड स्वस्या बोथ आर् स्त्रीलिंग बट बोथ आर् इन षष्टी एक वचन ऑलसो बट बोथ आर् नॉट ए सामनाकरण्यम स्वस्या प्रकृते सदृश वंस ओन दिस् मीन वंस ओन एंड प्रकृति सो प्रकृति विच वंस ओन प्रकृति सिमिलर टू so one who one follows cheshtate anyone kopi kopi swasya uh, prakrute sadrusham cheshtate one engages in anything which is as per one's nature is similar to one's nature sadrusham who jnanavan api here jnanavan one who has jnana even a jnani will have tendencies will have sanskaras will have vasanas which are manifest in this janma some are not manifest but they will become manifest as and when one progresses they may become more and more manifest because they are hidden by regular indulgence once the chitta becomes shuddha then it gives an occasion for the kashaya which is kashaya means the hidden uh, sanskara to manifest as per one's own prakruti whatever is one's nature based on uh, uh, them these will start manifesting this is throughout the life now one who has jnana a jnani jnanavan jnana se asya asti iti jnanavan jnanam jnanam asya asti iti jnanavan so jnanavan api swasya prakrute he sadrusham cheshtate so here bhagwan bhashyakara says what to talk about a moodha so you are saying that why don't they fear me why are they not afraid of me even jnani would follow as per his tendencies because uh, gunaha guneshu vartante that's why shama uh, dhama ityadi should be followed much before one comes to jnana because the tendencies will continue the more you incult uh, the more you cultivate inculcate the values those values will uh, become so dridha that naturally they'll follow in jnana when one has jnana if one keeps on to tendencies jnana will not take place but if at all it takes place due to uh, purva samskara of having a lot of study earlier and uh, these tendencies which one has uh, acquired in this life and one continues to follow them as per one's vasanas 
they will block the nishtha they will block the nishtha of a jnani or if they are not so strong or and they are not so frequent then once in a while uh, this laukika whatever one is indulging in that indulgence may continue a little so taste for something may so uh, let's say taking a simple example like one is uh, used to having you know 10 cups of tea in a day that may continue even after jnana i am giving a simple example which is uh, maybe uh, bad for health it may not uh, it may not do anything towards nishtha it will not help it will, it may not even oppose so there may be some some such situations also some may be really opposed to it uh, they will not allow nishtha and some may even stop the jnana from taking place as in that shravana manana nididhyasana itself may not happen but once that jnani matra one becomes just jnana has taken place paroksha and then it is becoming a paroksha it has become a paroksha but one cannot go further than that there is no sukha why because jnanavan api even if he is one a jnani jnanavan api स्वस्याह प्रकृते हे सदृशम चेष्टते सो भगवान भाष्यकार सेज देर चेष्टते ओके सो हियर यू सी सी प्रकृतिर्नाम पूर्वकृत धर्मा धर्मादि संस्कार सो द संस्कार विच हेज कम फ्रॉम दी अर्लियर Perform dharma or adharma, uh, meaning karma which has punya and papa. One that one has performed the samskara which is left behind. That is prakruti. That is one's nature. And vartamana janma do abhivyakta which has manifested in the current janma. Sa prakruti. That is one's nature. Tasya sadrusha meva sarva jana ha sarva jana ha jantu hu jnana va na pichestate kim punha murka supan. one who is not using his buddhi how will he not follow he will not even know that uh, he has no control at least jnani knows that i have no control when some strong vasanas come up i don't have any control he knows that he is work in progress you can say this fellow punah murkha kim punah murkha is what to talk about that person who is not using his buddhi at all so jnana man api सस्या प्रकृति सदृश चेष्ट एंड देज भूतानि एवरी वन ऑल बीइंग्स वेदर इज ह्यूमन बीइंग और एनी वन इज भूतानि प्रकृति न्यांति दे गो एज पर दि प्रकृति दे फॉलो दि प्रकृति सो प्रकृति एंड दे फॉलो प्रकृति प्रकृति न्यांति प्रकृति न्यांति भूतानि कर्तरी निग्रह Nigraha is this control that one says that I am fully in control. What control do you have when these strong vasanas fructify? Uh, take a simple example. You say that you have control over guna. So let's say I I have control over guna. I I am a sattvic a person. What happens when this is very natural to everyone, even for a jnani? What happens when tamasa uh, uh, guna ha starts? making you sleepy you want to meditate you want to study but what happens when tamasa guna uh, takes over one will fall asleep so nigraha king karishati i am just taking this example to drive home the point as to how this prarabdha may push a person to act as per the vasanas therefore a cleansing is needed through and through even after jnana therefore people continue to cleanse and then remain in yoga we remain in yoga or follow the sadhana uh, chatushtha which was given as a uh, as a prescription for jnana as a means to jnana people don't drop it because it is risky unless one is a jnani complete otherwise one may have a fall therefore if not that then take sanyasa and keep on continuing shravana mana nididhyasana and yoga for chitta shuddhi and for vasana vasana kshaya and manonasha thereby uh, that is advised even for a sanyasi nigraha king karishyati 
you say that I am alert and I will control. You cannot do it unless you have a lot of background in doing it. So you cannot say uh, suddenly say that yes, I have got jnana and now I'll control. If if one does not have buddhi, one cannot even think about control. So nigraha king karishyati. What is this an answer for? Nigraha king karishyati. What will nigraha do? King karishyati. This is an answer to Tvachasanati Krama Doshat Kathamna Vibhyati. There is no for fear to analyze that what will happen if I do Papa Karma. That buddhi space is not there. That is overshadowed by the Antakkarana, which is playing the role, role of Sankalpatmaka, uh, Sankalpa Vikalpatmaka. It is making options whether I should do this for more Sukha or whether I should do something else for more Sukha. Always wanting more and more Sukha, one forgets that uh, whether it is Punya or Papa, thereby Nigraha King Karishyati. So forget analyzing uh, as to what Shasana I am doing Ullangana of and uh, fear that should come from that. Generally this fear takes place. When does it take place? It takes place when one is not under the influence of Kama. It takes place uh, on the deathbed for everyone except if uh, when the jnana is paripakwa. In Taitiri Upanishad there is a mantra which says that uh, which says uh, uh, the ete punya pape. So the punya and papa they don't uh, they don't scare the person and on the last moment on the person will be analyzing the entire life, I should have done this, uh, I should not have done this, so uh, why did I do something and why did I not do something, why did I do something bad, why did I not do something good, I am unable to uh, place, place the mantra, uh, unfortunately my memory is uh, aging, it it's fails me, so uh, it will come when it comes, okay, so the, the meaning is this, and the, on the deathbed, a person thinks, why did I not do punya? Why did I? Uh, when, when, why did I not do punya? And why did I do papa? So, ete na tapata ha. So ete eto na tapata. Eto na tapata. Kim pap ma kurvam? Yeah, kim pap ma kurvam? Uh, why did I? Do Papa, why did I not do Punya? Etau na tapataha. They don't, they don't, uh, you know, torture the person on the deathbed when a person is a jnani. And therefore, uh, that dvitiya dvai bhayam bhavati. As long as there is a second, there is no advaita jnana utpatti, so long the fear will remain. Whether one is has done Punya or Papa, there will, there will always be something that will cause fear, it will be the source of fear as long as there is another. Other, uh, otherwise, uh, one does not have any fear. So, what is the anvaya here? Jnana vanapi swasyaha Prakrutim Prakrutim Sadrusham Cheshtate Then we have Yanti, another verb. So, Bhutani Sarve, Sarve, Sarvani Bhutani, Sarvani Bhutani, Prakrutim Yanti, Sasya Prakrutim Yanti. They follow their own Prakriti Nigraha. So, tasmat karanat nigraha king karishati. So, you can add tasmat here in bracket so that we understand the reasoning given. Tasmat karanat or tasmat hetuhu nigraha king karishati. What can nigraha do? What will? So, karishati is lutlakara. Lutlakara king karishati is what will nigraha do? You say that I will have control. What will it do? You will have control is just a thought unless one has trained oneself. So this is the 
idea here. This is the reason one does not have fear at that moment because one is, ha, is not thinking. Yadi sarvo jantuhu atmanaha prakriti sadrisham eva cheshtate. Now Arjuna may be thinking. Yadi sarvaha janaha. If all people atmanaha prakriti sadrisham. Atmanaha is one's own. It is a reflexive pronoun. Atmanaha prakriti sadrisham eva cheshtate. One follows as per one's own nature. And you are saying that there is no nigraha king karishati. So what will one think? What is the use of this trying to control shamadama ityadi? It is all useless because anyway I will be following my own nature. No, that is not the idea. Yadi sarvaha jantuhu atmana prakruti sadrisham eva cheshtate nacha prakruti shunyaha kashchi dasti. Now, since one follows one's own nature, everyone follows one's own nature and there is nobody who does not have nature means one you cannot say this person you can only define uh, per, uh, pra, prakruti of a, you can define as in you can try to understand this is this person has this nature good or bad this particular animal has this nature naturally whatever comes to a person you consider that person nature or a prani is nature but prakruti shunya can you say somebody is prakruti shunya there is there is no nature there, you may not be able to identify a particular nature of a person, but you cannot say that there is that person has no, uh, you know, natural tendencies. It does, he or she does not follow something naturally. So prakriti shunya kashche dapi nasti. There is no one who is prakriti shunya. Huh? Tata ha purusha karasya vishyanupapatte he shastra uh, shastra anartha pra, anartha kya prapto shastra anartha kya prapto ida mutchate. Tataha, therefore, what could be the conclusion? The conclusion is a confusion. It is, a, it is an erroneous uh, conclusion that Purushakarasya. Purushakara is free will. Purushakarasya Vishyanupapatte. Vishyanupatte means there is no scope for... Uh, you cannot even discuss the subject matter of free will now. It has no point. It is a moot point. Why? Because you are saying that everyone follows one's own nature, there is no one who does not have nature. So there will be a particular tendency that the person will forcibly be made to follow. Nigraha king karishati, what will Nigraha do? What, what will self-control do? Nothing it will do. Therefore, what is the conclusion? Purusha, that's free will is all useless. Since Purushakarasya Vishyanupapatte, since there is no scope, there is no tenability of the scope of free will. Even there is no tenability of that. There is no possibility of the of uh, free will having any scope. Then what is the conclusion that will lead to? Then what is the use of the Shastra telling you what to do, what not to do? If you cannot have control your, uh, yourself, there is no point in Shastra telling you do this and you don't do that. Because you will go as per your tendencies. If that is the question, then Shastra anarthakya praptav. Then Shastra is useless. That kind of a conclusion one will land in. Therefore, praptav idam uchyati, praptav satyam. When one sati saptami, praptav is thrillinga, so satyam Shastra anarthakya Shastranarthakya prapto satyam idam uchyate. When, so in Laghu, if you said iti prapte, when this kind of an idea you come across, this kind of a conclusion you land on, then the next sloka takes away that doubt. It answers even that doubt. Because Bhagavan knows how we can misunderstand him, thereby he answers that question by saying the, by stating the next sloka. Indriya Sindriya Sarthe Ragadvesho Yavasthito Tayur Navashama Gachhe Taushasya Paripanthino. It is not that one does not have free will. The more you take effort, the less the prarabdha will affect you, the less the vasanas will affect you. Prarabdhas will bring around circumstances, but still you have control how to respond. So that you have control over. You should try to follow the Shastras as much as possible. And the more you do that, the more the circumstances will keep on changing. 
So Indriyasya 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 is a Veepsa We will stop by uh, just doing Anvaya here Indriyasya Indriyasya Arthi So Indriyasya and Indriyasya is Shashti twice So meaning uh, Each and every Indriya Each and every So whenever there is a Veepsa It means each and every unit of that so, Indriyasya, Indriyasya, Arthe, Saptami Ekvachar, Arthe, Artha Vishay, Raga Dvesho, Vyavasthito, Raga and Dvesha are Vyavasthito, they are, Raga and Dvesha are there, are, Vyavasthiti is there, they are present. There are Raga and Dvesha, that's what it means. Raga and Dvesha are but natural, they are there towards each and every Indriya. Towards each and every Indriya Artha. Indriya Se Artha means, Indriya Se Indriya Se Artha means towards the Artha, towards the object of each and every Indriya. Shabda, Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha. These are the objects. Of what? These are the Arthas. Of various Indriyas. Shabda Indriya is various, uh, uh, sorry, Shabda Indriya is different from, uh, uh, from the uh, Shrotra Indriya. But all these Arthas are there specific to each and every Indriya. So Raga Dvesha, one may say that I, you know, I have, don't have taste for something. One likes to watch movies, but uh, not a foodie. Somebody may be a foodie. Somebody may like to listen to music. So, there is a tendency. Raga Dvesha is there. Even in something that one likes music, in this I like this kind of a music. I don't like that kind of music. So, Raga Dvesha are there towards the Indriya Artha, Indriya Syarthi. They are, they are there for Vyavasthito. But what happens is that if you give in to them, they will become firm. So, Tayoho, 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 Raga Dvesha Yoho, Vasham na agachet. One should not come under the influence. Tayo vasham. Under their influence, one should not come. Why? Because tau, tau ragadvesho. The ragadveshas are what? He asya. He asya. Purushasya sadakasya va paripanthinau. Paripanthinau means they are, they are thieves. They are like the thieves on the highway robbers. Paripanthinau are highway robbers. They are asya, asya sadakasya. For this sadaka, they are, they are highway robbers because they will steal away in broad daylight. They'll steal away your viveka. Tayoho vasham nagachet. One should not come under the influence. Means nigraha kim karishyati is said about people who are under the influence of ragad uh, under the influence of vasana. And they given to asanas every time. But slowly you start training them, then you will, you will finally be having a say. And thereby, Tayoho Vasham Na Agachet. Indriyasya or Raga Dveshu. Raga Dveshu. Dveshu. Indriyasya. Indriyasya Arthe Vyavasthito Bhavataha Arstaha Tayoho Ragadveshayu Tayoho Kayoho Ragadveshayu Vasham Na Agachet One should not come under the influence of so this is vidhiling, na agachet, one should not come under the influence of prathama purusha ekvachana. Vidhiling, uh, shakyarthiling, one should not come under, or shakyarthiling or vidhiling, vidhiling is vidhiyarthi itself, there you can take vidhi, should not come, one should not come under the, uh, it's not easy, so you have to follow, over a period of time, they will come under one's control. So tau hi, why? Tau hi. Asya, indeed, or he asmat, asmat, since they are paripanthinu, asya, sadakasya, I will just put sadakasya, sadakasya, 
for the sadhaka they are paripanthinau panthinau paripanthinau eva paripanthinau they are like highway robbers in broad daylight they take away your wealth your sampatti that you have made what kind of wealth sadhana chatushte sampatti they will steal away therefore you should not come under so yasmat tau ragadvesho asya sadhakasya paripanthinau tasmat tayo ho vasham na agache that can be a better way to say so you can say tayo or easier to make ragadvesho indriyasya indriyasya arte vyavasthitau bhavataha and tau hi asya sadhakasya paripanthinau paripanthinau staha or bhavataha staha tayo ho tasmat karana so tayo ho tataha or tasmat karana he is there as yasmat tataha tayo ho ragadesho vasham na agachhe we will stop here we will continue in the next part any questions Yes, Kalyanji. Uh, how do we, uh, how does one decide one is a complete jnani? This question will drop off. Question will drop off, okay. This question, okay. that whether or you are a jnani, you don't have to ask anyone that whether you are a jnani. See, for example, let me ask you. Uh, today's class, did you understand? Yes. Will you ask me whether I, whether I have understood? No. No? How? Why don't you ask someone whether you have understood? It is Pratyaksha to you. When Jnana is there, it is Pratyaksha to you that I know. I understood the class because I know. Okay. Similarly, ignorance also. Avidya. Avidya also is that I do not know is also lit up by the same uh, chit, Chidatma. One thing nature Sorry. is that it takes up, it uh, shines up on Jnana and Ajnana alike. That I have okay. understood, that I have not understood, both are uh, revealed by the Atma, to yeah. the Atma, oneself. So, yeah. you will know whether you, you already know that uh, I know particular, let's say if you are from finance background, you say that I understand finance. Don't ask me engineering. Yeah. Why? Because you know what you know, what you don't know. Similarly, when mm. Jnana takes place, nobody can stop you from, uh, uh, nobody can fool you saying that, no, you are still an Ajna. Okay. But I may still have some vasanas. No, that will then I have not. Vasanas may be there. See, okay. having vasanas versus what is jnana? Jnana is shravana manana nidhi dhyasana. That is Correct. the means to jnana. What is yes. shravana? Shravana is uh, the conclusion. Conclusion of the shruti into ekavakyata. Yeah. Do you know what shruti talks about? What shastras hmm. talk about? What is the culmination of shastras? All Shastras are everything including Karma Kanda is also for this very purpose. The Shravana yeah. conclusion, if, if you bring any uh, Shastra Vakya, you should be clear that what is the purpose of that. Even okay. if you don't know details, if Karma Kanda, entire Karma Kanda is for Chitta Shuddhi and if you look at all Upanishad Mantras, you should be able to analyze and land into the conclusion that uh, this, the purpose of it is Aikya. Okay. Yeah. If you don't have any questions there, then Shravana is complete. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then what hmm. is Manana? Manana is when you uh, have doubts. How is it possible? That time Manana is called for. How is it possible? Okay. Means how can Aikya be there? Okay. How can I be Ishwara? Shruti is saying Tattvamasi. Tat is Sattvadartha, yeah. which is uh, Ishwara Shristi Karta. There, yes. Uh, uh, the Sadvastu, which is the creator of this entire prapancha universe, which we know we don't know, that Ishwara is me. Yes. When the Shruti says that, which has already been said in Shravana, it is complete, it is understood. You don't, but you have a doubt as to the doubt is not related to the Shastra, whether Shastra says this or not. That is clear. You okay. can't go back and say that Vishishta Advaita is right or uh, Madhvachara is right. Why? Because uh, Shruti is saying these multiple things. No, Shruti is not saying multiple things. Shruti cannot say contradictory things. 
the contradiction has to be resolved in only one conclusion. It cannot have multiple conclusions. Yes. But there can't be multiple paths to moksha. Shruti clearly says jnana in a moksha. So all other paths yeah. are gone, only Vedanta remains. In Vedanta yeah. also, what will lead to Nitya Moksha? That you should be able to see that any Gati, if it is involved, then that is not Atma Swarupa. Any Correct. Gati after Marana is going to give another Janma and Marana and another Marana, so Samsara will continue. So there hmm. you cannot have a question as to what is the Shruti Tatparya. That Tatparya Nishchaya into Ekavakyata and Ekavakyata being Tattomasi, all this, uh, anything which is leads to Aikya. Mahavakya is not only for any any yeah. Mahavakya which leads to Aikya. Okay. That uh, there the Shruti, uh, you don't have doubt about what Shruti is saying, what Shastras are saying. That can be in Gita also, that can be in another Prakarana Grantha like Viveka Chudamani also. But any, uh, anything say Dakshinamurti Stotra or uh, uh, this thing uh, Aparoksha Anubhuti, what is it trying to say? All these granthas are trying to tell the same thing. There at least they are yes. Advaita granthas. They will not be saying anything else. But even not written by Advaita Acharya, as in Advaita Acharyas that we know after Shankara Acharya. Even yes. as, what are they trying to say? They are trying to say uh, what Bhagwan is trying to say in Shruti or in Smriti or in other Purana and Ithyasa granthas is all same. It has to be same. If it is different, then it has to be reinterpreted. Otherwise, okay. not in Shruti. Not in Shruti. Shruti should not be reinterpreted. Shruti and other granthas should be reinterpreted as as per Shruti. So that okay. we are not contradictory to Shruti. And Shruti which appear to be contradictory to each other, they should be interpreted in such a way that no contradiction exists. That can happen only in Advaita. It cannot happen in any, any other sampradaya. You can try it out. Okay. It cannot happen in any other sampradaya. Why? Hmm. Because they cannot resolve, they cannot interpret the Advaita. Even Puru Yomsaka hmm. can't uh, resolve the uh, Vedanta Vakya because they say it is Arthavada. You can't say Arthavada. Arthavada yes. cannot be in the conclusion of the Shruti. So, Mimamsakas are refuted. All others are refuted. Uh, everything has been refuted by Bhagavan Bhashyakara. Now, once that Shravana is complete in Manana, the doubts related to how can it be so? How can Ishwara, who is Sarvajna, I am an Alpajna, uh, Ishwara is Srishti Karta, Srishti, uh, this thing, the Sthiti and Laya, all is done by Ishwara. How can I be that? Okay, yes. He, he, so, all these contradictory attributes will pop up. There, if the question exists as to how can it be, then Manana sh should resolve it. Okay. If you do mm. not have any doubt as to uh, the Aikya, yes, yes, you can firmly say that the day you can firmly say that I am Ishwara. There cannot be any Bheda. The Bheda is a Pratiti Matra, it is Upadi Krita. If it is Upadi Krita, then your Manana is complete. Of course, yes. complete in the sense to a large extent. These doubts will keep on coming. If someone throws a doubt you never had, you may Correct. start thinking, oh, really so, uh, you know, Ramanujare says this, he brought up the seven un untenables. To go through the seven untenables, you start doubting yourself. If you start doubting yourself, then manana is needed. If you start doubting that, no, Shruti does not say that because other Acharyas after Shankaracharya has concluded this way. If it is so, have they really concluded that way, you have to look into it and see the Shruti and thereby Shravana, you have to revisit. So this will keep on continue as long as the mind brings in doubts. Okay. Once manana is complete and you do not have any doubt, no one can confuse you and call you limited. That you are this limited jiva, you are limitless jiva, you are brahma, if you are clear about that, then you have jnana. Okay. What is that jnana? That jnana is jnana I mantra. Can. It can be hmm. paroksha paroksha now. Hmm. When is it paroksha? It is paroksha when you think that Shruti says this at Sravana. Hmm. At manana stage, if you are convinced and you any time, in any circumstances, you don't have an issue to go back to that tattwa and hold on to whether it is a family issue or whether it is a friend or whether it is monetary issue, whether it's your own uh, trouble. All these are guna guna issue vartantra. This will come with nishta over a period of time and that is the focus of nididhyasana. Okay. It takes away vasana. Then nididhyasana, if it is getting obstacles to remain in that tattwa, if one gets carried away by 
everything that is happening around a person, then yoga is prescribed which will make the jnana drudha by how jnana itself will not be but the same thing that jnana will become quality, it will take away the obstacles. So this is the uh, okay. process Understood. but jnana is prakshaksha, it cannot be okay. Paroksha. So this question should okay. not come whether I, I have jnana. Okay, understood. Understood. Thank you. Namaste. Anything else? Anyone else? Okay. Yes, Anand. Uh, in this uh, statement, in the S in the S, yeah. So it is like uh, the deep side because to indicate all embryos. Yeah, yeah. In each and every, each and every or all. Same meaning. However, uh, you can make a better phrase in English. Each and every or all indriyas. Okay. But all not together, so therefore each and every may work better. Hmm. Okay. In uh, Keno Upanishad, there is a mantra. Uh, Pratibodham, uh, so uh, Pratibodham Matam. So, Prati Bodham Matam is Bodham Bodham Prati. So, what is that Bodham Bodham? That is the Vigraha for the Prati Bodham. Prati Bodha Viditam. So, Prati Bodha Viditam is what? Bodham Bodham Prati Viditam. So, what is Bodham Bodham? That is, that is repetition. In each and every Bodha, in each and every understanding, each and every cognition, that Tattva is known. It is known through each each and every cognition because you are common in all Bodha. So, that each and every you can say all also, but then each and every indicates that nothing is left. It is not all as a cumulative. It is each and every as an individual. So therefore, each and every indriya works better. Each and every extending to all indriya. So that's how it has to be understood. Okay. Anything else? No. So I'll see you. Stay.